Michaels, and on behalf of Trinity Health in New England and the Centers for Integrative Medicine, I want to welcome you to this uh, edition of Wellness Wednesday. I've asked my colleague, Chris Gagné, to join me today. Chris has a really uh, strong background in acupuncture, um, but specifically around having reached out to communities who have gone through very traumatic events and how he has used acupuncture to help them through their grief or their stress or their PTSD symptoms. So Chris, let me just turn it over to you. Why don't we start with um, what really is acupuncture? So acupuncture is an ancient form of medicine. Uh, the Chinese invented it uh, several thousand years ago, and it is um, a tool that they have used in those millennia to help the body heal itself. So people are always asking me, you know, what does acupuncture actually do in the body? And I, and I tell them, you know, what I'm doing is getting the body out of its own way. And so the body is this miracle of healing. It's capable of healing itself, but because of imbalances, because of maybe some congenital issues that we've had, or some stresses or traumas, physical, emotional, mental, um, the body's balance becomes upset and it's unable, it loses its ability to heal itself as well as it uh, could have if it was balanced. And so what I do is I help restore that balance. Um, and so by, by inserting needles in, in, in prescribed acupuncture pathways, we help that body, the body's natural energy flows smoothly, and then the body is more capable of healing itself. So in a recent conversation with you, um, you started sharing with me that you had actually worked with one of our communities in Connecticut, Sandy Hook, mm -hmm. after a horrible tragedy there. Yes. Can you talk to me around why you got involved in that and how acupuncture helped? Well, um, like everybody else, uh, that Friday was a horrifying day. I had been at the clinic at St. Francis uh, treating patients that morning, and I came home to a hysterical phone call from a friend. Uh, and I still get choked up thinking about it, mm. but he was apoplectic about what had happened and, and I had no clue what was going on. So I immediately got on Facebook and was looking on the news and, and I saw what had happened and oh, I was so angry, Tim, you, you can't even, I mean, I'm sure everybody who first mm. heard about it felt this rage in them and grief. And I was at risk of being overwhelmed by it. Like so many others, it was uh, a massive trauma and blow. And, um, and I was taking my rage out online and, you know, and, and I said to myself, I can't go down this rabbit hole. And I said to myself, what can I do? What can I offer? And so I immediately got on the phone with my colleagues. Um, and I was texting people on Facebook and, all my, my acupuncture colleagues. And I said, what are we doing collectively? We need to help these people. We need to help these first responders who just walked into possibly the most awful thing they've ever witnessed in their life. And so, um, I was, I was like a crazed human being for about 48 hours, making phone calls to everybody. And in fact, I was down in Sandy hook that Saturday morning after the shooting, um, trying to connect with the red cross and town leaders to offer you know the community uh acupuncture and so i went down with several of my colleagues we were able to make some connections we got a space in sandy hook downtown sandy hook uh, that was given to us for free um, and we had uh, donations from businesses around the state uh, sending us needles and sharps containers and decorations for the space and chairs and it was amazing um, so in my role was getting the ball rolling on that. And then once we had, you know, the volunteers, uh, in place, um, I kind of turned things over to some of the other, um, leaders in our, in our, uh, Connecticut acupuncture society. And, and they just did a brilliant job. And over the course of three months, we treated nearly seven, we offered, we did nearly 700 treatments in Sandy hook. And what we offered the community was a form of community acupuncture. Um, there's um, there's a, a auricular acupuncture, and it's a, it's a system of acupuncture that's really accessible. It's a five needle protocol. Um, the military has used this protocol and modified it for their own use. It's called battlefield acupuncture, um, but it's really a modified form of the National Acupuncture Detox Association protocol 
used in the treatment of addiction, which obviously when some people are experiencing addiction, they're deeply stressed out and experiencing, you know, emotional havoc in their life. And so we utilize those protocols um, and people came into the clinic. They, all they had to do was sit down in a chair and an acupuncturist would come over and they would put five needles in the air and the, the person would just sit there. They wanted to talk. We were willing to listen. If they just wanted to sit there and meditate and process, they could do that as well. And, um, we got so, so much great feedback from the community, um, regarding that clinic. Um, people really felt it was an oasis and a place to get some space from the trauma and the havoc that was going on in the community at that time. So I want to make sure I understand because I don't have the background that you do. I'm not clinical. So this is a simple process. It's yes. four or five needles, very thin needles from what I've seen recently mm -hmm. placed in the ear for about how long? Uh, it could be as short as 15 minutes it can go. It can go up to an hour if people needed to sit there and process and they were having, a, um, you know, a good experience. We didn't rush it. Okay. So what we did was let people decide when they were done. And most people would go about 20 minutes to 40 minutes typically. Um, and then we just take the needles out and they could go on their way and they could come back as often as they needed to. So the other thing I heard you say is it, it kind of affords somebody a place to go when they're not that they're not ready to talk. They just don't know what to say. Right. Like you mentioned that phrase, that, that term of rage. Mm -hmm. And people are hesitant to even admit how much anger and rage they have after the last year and a half between politics and race unrest and COVID. Yeah. Um, but again, to your comment too about Facebook and going down a rabbit hole and it, boy, talk about rage over wearing a mask or not. And I'm not trying to go there. Right. But I do want people to be aware that it's everywhere around us. And right. I'm hearing you say for as little as 15 minutes, um, that we can start giving people a way to feel relief from okay. some of that stress and anger they're holding mm -hmm. and decide what is a good next step for them. Continue right. doing that, possibly reach out and talk to somebody. Mm -hmm. um, but this is a simple first step. So where can people go right now to get this simple uh, battlefield acupuncture protocol? Well, they can come to the Center for Integrative Medicine right in St. Francis Hospital. It's open five days a week. Um, you know, we have a walk-in, you know, uh, policy. If somebody wants to get um, the auricular acupuncture, our employees can come in for free um, and they can just sit in the chair. We do the needles and, you know, in 20 minutes, if they're feeling uh, like they're ready to go, we take the needles out and on, and on they go with their day and hopefully feeling a bit of more calmer, a little more relaxed, a little less stressed. Um, and, and hopefully having a more positive outlook as they, as they go back into, awesome. into, into the hospital. Well, Chris, this is a good point for us to stop. I want everybody to hear how simple this is. Mm -hmm. They don't have to talk to us. They can sit in a chair and hopefully leave feeling, um, better or more peaceful right. or at least attended to. Yes. So I'm going to make sure the phone number for integrative medicine, as well as your name is right at the end of our video. Mm -hmm. so people know how to find you. And I thank you so much for taking time out of your day to do this with me. Oh, it was my pleasure, Tim. Thanks so much.